Jessica, continuing our coverage this morning, coronavirus, well, it is rocking the global economy and financial markets. The stock market was halted yesterday morning as coronavirus fears sent the big exchanges into free fall. And yeah, size Renee Skinner joins us live in studio with more on the industries facing the biggest impact and how this could affect our wallet, Renee. That's right. Good morning, Bree and Ira. Well, the Dow Jones Industrial Average plummeted 2,000 points, or roughly 6% around this time yesterday morning. This drop we're seeing is the result of fear of the unknown. COVID-19 is spreading around the world, and many investors can't put their finger on how much this will hurt the economy. So the easiest response to the unknown is abandon ship, sell everything, and get out, which is exactly what we're seeing play out on Wall Street. The travel and tourism industries are facing their worst crisis since the 2001 terrorist attacks. This week, the International Air Transport Association warned that the outbreak could cost airlines as much as $113 billion in lost revenue. Business travel is falling and trade shows, music festivals and conventions are being canceled all over the country left and right. Cruise prices are beginning to fall after two high profile quarantines. The Grand Princess being held off the coast of California as passengers await test results. At least 21 infected people at last check are on board. A lot going on economically in the U.S., but one local expert we spoke to says one way to predict the future of the market, well, just look at our past. We had uh, 12 health events uh, since 1981, starting with HIV AIDS and then uh, things like SARS, Zika, Ebola. And uh, in 11 of those 12 cases, we've had the market rebound within three to six months. Most people just, um, just you know, just a concern if this is going to be an extended downturn like we saw in 2008. Um, it, I think that's unlikely. Now, another industry to look at during a time like this, the oil industry. The cost of oil sank 20 percent thanks to a pricing feud between Russia and Saudi Arabia. The price for a barrel of U.S. crude is below 34 bucks. Experts say typically falling energy prices are good for business overall. However, in times of economic concern or unrest, energy prices are often used as a measuring tool to look at the global economy overall. The good news is the coronavirus funding bill was signed into law by President Trump on Friday. It puts much more money toward treating and preventing the spread of COVID-19. In fact, it's a $2.5 billion plan to combat it. And the word on Capitol Hill is lawmakers could be looking to add more to that number. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Renee Skinner, News 5.